Bill Maher absolutely and positively wrecks CNN host Caitlin Collins over the extreme bias of both herself and the ridiculous fake news media operation that she works for. Guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I love seeing a good CNN Smackdown. Always gets me a little excited, you know, because let's be real. They are fake news. They're an illegitimate outlet and we should treat them as such because frankly, that's a charitable thing to call them as far as I'm concerned. And I have a feeling you guys might agree too. We're going to get right to it, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. But first, you can help me out, guys. Like our video, share it around, and if you're new, subscribe to the Resist the Mainstream YouTube channel. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. Why subscribe? Guys, it's real simple. Your subscriptions help us keep pumping out this great content. So thank you so much, and we really appreciate it. As always, everybody, I'm your host, Arian. Let's get into the show. You made press because you were on Stephen Colbert's show, and he said something like, um, you guys at CNN just report the news straight and the crowd burst into laughter. <laughs> Look, I'm on CNN now. I guess we're on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they show this show the next night. I don't know yeah. how they, I don't know how we get. Time out. Let's go watch that clip. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> Oh, I know. CNN makes a. I know. Is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but sure uh, I guess it is. Um, <laughs> what, what, I, what, I was, what I wanted to ask is that even Colbert can't help admit that it turned into a laugh line. He, at a certain point, even a liberal hack like him sees it and thinks, "Okay, yeah, that is kind of funny. It's pretty great." Now back to Bill Maher and Caitlin Collins. You get away with it with all the fucks, but they do. Uh, <laughs> and all these dirty jokes, uh, <laughs> but I'm glad. And, I, and I'm a big rooter for CNN, but that tells you a lot, doesn't it? I mean, how do, how do you guys think you are doing is in that arena of like, this is a terribly divided country. We're not only politicized, a lot of people just hate the other side. And CNN, in my view, should be the place where both sides can watch. How do you think you're doing with that? How is CN CNN is the place where both sides can watch. And, and I think, you know, my show is evidence of that. We have lawmakers on from both parties. We'll have Elizabeth Warren on one, one night. We'll have Ted Cruz on uh, another night. I think lawmakers from both parties yeah. should take. Really? CNN is fair to both sides. Right. Is that why they're constantly talking about how great Joe Biden was up until the very moment they decided to want to get rid of him? And then they started attacking him for a senility that we all knew about for over five years and then installed Kamala Harris. Right. Another thing they were not honest about was his economy. And it sucks, guys, as I'm sure you all know. I mean, who doesn't love going to the gas pump and having to pay, I don't know, double what they used to? It's insane. And that is why I have decided to partner with Gold Co. And I recommend you do the same, guys. Why do this? It's real simple, guys. Gold, in my view, is a great hedge against inflation. And I think you'll find the same. What's more, you can roll over your IRA and 401k penalty and tax free if you decide to go with Gold Co. So check it out, y'all. Go to rtmgold.com. You can click the link in the description or type in your web browser. Once again, guys, that's rtmgold.com, and you can get a free gold kit as well to help you make this big decision. All right? So check it out, rtmgold.com. Questions, and you should push both of them. But but on the on CNN being a place of credibility, I mean, look at what just happened in Chicago. We had 300 people from CNN on the ground covering that convention. There were f several reporters from just our team alone on the floor, uh, bringing it in real time to people. And I think CNN puts resources behind things and just brings a level uh, of news that you don't get anywhere else. And and I think right. CNN does yeah, a great I'm, job. Yeah, but I'm that. talking about the people on CNN, and what I, I know what the conservative side of America thinks, and I don't blame them. I watched Kamala's speech last night. It ended at 8.09, well, I guess 11.09 in the East. It wasn't until 11.23 till the, conser the one conservative guy, what's his name? Scott Jennings. This lonely Scott, I call him. David Urban was there too. Wait a second, wait a second. I watched from 8.09 to 8.23, they were just gushing about how great a speech it was. And I think she did fine. I didn't think it was as good as they were making it out to be. But if I'm a conservative in America and I'm watching CNN, just for the straight middle of the road, that's what I hear for 15 minutes is it's great. And then Lonely Scott. I just love that. The so-called conservative that CNN brings on, this guy Scott Jennings, is literally there, according to Bill Maher, who's a liberal, who is ODing on TDS constantly, by the way, so that makes his opinion more credible. Scott Jennings is sitting there gushing over Kamala Harris and how great her speech is. What a joke. That's their conservative, and that's the guy on the network. But as far as who Caitlin Collins talked about who comes on the network as a guest appearance, such as Ted Cruz, for instance, 
Ted Cruz is what I like to call a phony, fake opposition, all right? He's a controlled conservative. He really isn't conservative at all. And I know some of you are probably getting angry right now. No, Ted Cruz, he's great. He's a freedom warrior. He's an American patriot. Really? All right, well, I'm gonna go back in time a little bit and remind you guys of something. So back in June, 2021, Texas Senator Ted Cruz quite literally pushed for a bill that would force masks on Americans who do not take the COVID jab. Now, the context of this was in the case of plane travel. He quite literally came up and said, I'm Ted Cruz, American patriot. The CDC is being anti-science because they're forcing masks on Americans who took the COVID jab. Well, no longer, no longer, all right? We are gonna force masks only on Americans who haven't taken the jab. The ones who have taken it, you're good to go. Yeehaw, American patriot. As far as other honorable mentions go of fake Republicans who pretend that they're on the side of the American people, we can talk about Marsha Blackburn and Susan Collins, who also backed up Ted Cruz for this mask mandate, along with a few other miserable sorry sops. Just unbelievable, honestly. It does look, I mean, and when you see the pan, it does look like tokenism. It's kind of like the same as The View. It's like it's almost better to have nobody there, like MSNBC, than to have this. Well, I don't think you can. I don't think you can say. I don't think you can say it's better to have nobody there, and then also lament the fact that you don't think the conservative guy Scott Jennings, who is great, and and we have him on my show all the time, spoke up early enough. I, I think it was a Democratic convention. They well, turned to Democrats, people like David Axelrod, who ran successful presidential Democratic campaigns first for, for their analysis of this. And I don't think that you can say that, that CNN is anything but fair. I mean, look at that we covered President Biden's exit from the race very closely, the pressure on him to get out. And I feel like I can speak with authority on this. I'm from Alabama. I'm from a very red state. I have a very- Ugh, so exhausting. All right, quick rule of thumb, guys, that I think is important to cover here. If a CNN commentator, especially a far left one, which is all of them, but especially a far left one like Caitlin Collins is saying, oh, he's, he's conservative and he's a great guy. I really like him. You're probably not conservative. You're probably a closet leftist. I think that's a very fair thing to assume. And do I even need to explain why it's so laughable that CNN, that Caitlin Collins says you can call CNN anything but fair? But I think she slipped on her tongue a bit there because yes, you can call CNN many things other than fair. On that much, I would agree with her. Very conservative family, a lot of them who are Trump voters, they watch my show every night, and, and I think they know that they can they can trust me, that you know we call bullshit on every side, not just whatever leaning our, our audience may be. And, and I think that's something that people actually want more of. I think Caitlin Collins forgot that Donald Trump was literally calling her a nasty person and essentially a liar back when he went on her town hall, I don't know, was that maybe a year ago or less? Yes, I'm sure Caitlin Collins is hard right, conservative, Alabama, Trump supporting family, totally thinks that she's fair and legitimate. Right. ...is to hear from that. I think Scott's voice is really important, but I think other voices are important to hear from. And everyone who, who was speaking last night, it's not like they were all Democrats. I mean, we had Dana Bash, Jake Tapper, Abby Phillip, all my amazing colleagues... They come across ...giving that way. analysis. They come across that way. In a moment like that, it was like five to one. It always looks like five to one. Okay, I'll move on. Well, guys, we're gonna have to cut the clip off right there. Yeah, Caitlin Collins is Caitlin Collins. I don't know what else to say. She's either extremely delusional or one of the world's biggest liars. I don't know. What do you guys think? Caitlin Collins, super delusional or just a dishonest person? Or maybe it's a bit of both. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. As always, guys, please make sure you let us know what you thought about the video. Comment below, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and we'll see you guys again very soon, I am sure. Thanks so much, and God bless.